So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from GMS Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar Rashad Evans. Herb Dean, great our fight. referee for this great. one. All right, round one is underway. Sugar Rashad Evans set to take the center of the octagon here. His last first round finish against Chael Sonnen, UFC 167 in 2013. We'll see if he can add to that total tonight and get off to a good start here in what is another high-profile spot for the former champion. Rashad going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Straight punch is good. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Swing and a miss by Evans. Nice combination on the feet and now works it to a takedown. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Clean punch. So more up, but at least in the early going. Evans goes for the takedown, he misses. Nice crack there.
Just out of range with that right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Straight right is there. Big double leg, double change. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Evans. He's very accurate in the ground upon and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get... Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, right in the mouth. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. For under two minutes now to go round one. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Evans. He's got to be careful here. Good work from the top here by Evans. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. In the half guard. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, that one landed, yep. Final seconds here. Takedown defense holds up. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go round ahead. two underway. Hook to the head, it's blocked. Swing and a miss by Evans. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. 
All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Evans. Oh, he needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And, man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land and he's trying to land effective strikes. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face. Let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase it. All right, so he's got the body lock down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Lands with the ground and pound. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Now he's going full mouse. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cup man's actually getting excited. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Evans. Seconds winding down in round two. Nice shots landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity 
to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Now three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut trying to oh, attack it? It's like a target. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old. I don't even want to fight no more, but I, I do love uh, a little damage. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Is that punch no good? Oh, clipped him with the left. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Evans is doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. It mixes up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Three minutes to go in round three. Big right hand there. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight. And you can watch him, you see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him. Oh, oh he's not bad. He's got a grab him. I'm not sure if he's just buying his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with right You know, he's having right a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with me. No. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Good work, guys. Come on. Careful there. Changing the position. 
All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Good, solid strike on the ground. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, boy, look at that gash. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands for the bridge. City catches the kick and promptly counters with that kick. Great timing, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Daniel. Boy, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating. And the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. Well, that combination's going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Evans. Great shots from the top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Evans is back at half court. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Oh, he's got his back. All right, side control now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Under two minutes here to go round four. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Evans. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Evans. And another, another strike from the top lands for him. 
All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Evans' cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. They'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Evans is back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach. Shows again, he got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Evans. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high-octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Clean with that offer. Oh, hurt. Back to the feet now. Evans' has shot is blocked. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that victory. Secures the takedown. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, Big right hook there by the champ. Evans' cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Well, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Evans. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble. Get He's got to start going now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Aren't you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, as usual, suffocated work from the top here by Evans. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Two minutes and 
counting to go in this fight. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Constantly a moving target. Right back. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Evans. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Evans. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night, back and forth on both sides, and referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't like that. put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been oh so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. Evans is in half guard now. The beautiful ground strike land. Another ground and pound strike lands. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Right here, you got to empty the gas tank, John. You got to just go forward and let everything go. Oh, and there it is! Oh, my God! What a result in Rio, a stutter! Holy smokes! Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind them because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife. 